Hello YouTube and welcome to another load balancer tutorial. So in this video I'm gonna show you how to implement sticky sessions. So are you ready? Let's get started. So as you have seen on my previous video we set up HA proxy with load balancer actually using round robin algorithm okay so every time a uh, user get connected it will be redirected to a server we have actually three backend servers but if you want to stick request to serve from a single server rather than distributing the load between servers we have to implement actually sticky sessions okay so let me show you that in a picture so it will be more clear okay so without session stickiness so here you can see that we have two users so every user will be redirected to a different server in a time the load balancer this is the job of actually the load balancer okay but if you want a user to be stick or to stick its request to single server we have to implement session stickiness okay so we're gonna configure that using each a proxy okay so first of all let me connect to my uh, box here so i have linux arch linux so as you have seen on my previous video we set up this script that actually query our proxy and you see every time we get a response from a different server so we have actually three backend servers okay so the job of the load balancer is dis distributing the load between our three servers okay so now we're gonna implement actually sticky sessions so let's take a look at our configuration file so if you remember it's located in the directory etc each a proxy each a proxy dot cfg okay so this is the simple configuration file actually so i have here nothing fancy we have configured our front end our back end server and our statistic page that gives us actually some statistics about the sessions and the connections to our load balancer okay so in order to implement actually uh, sticky sessions we have to add some directive okay and those directives are added to the backend here so here we can add actually a directive called cookie okay so here we, we give our server cookie a name so we can call it whatever you want so let's call it just server cookie okay with the keyword actually insert okay as indirect no cache so this is the first directive that we should add actually to our uh, backend and finally we add the cookies values to each server so here we have three backend servers so we add also the values to the cookies so for the server one you can give a value to whatever cookie you want so let's name it for example c01 for the value of the cookie that comes to the server two okay cookie c02 okay and another keyword cookie and the value is c03 okay so it's pretty easy pretty straightforward one thing also to remember is actually to add this directive mod http it's very important because if you didn't add it it may not work okay so let's save this file actually this configuration file here we go and also we have to restart our uh, service 
So the service name is actually HA proxy. Here we go. So it's restarted. So how am I gonna actually test that? So we need a web, web browser because the cookies are saved on the web browser client. So let me open my Chrome browser here. Here we go. And here we have to enter the IP address of our load balancer. So in this case, it's 192.168.1.78. So we hit enter. Normally we should actually always get directed to the same server. So here you can see we are always directed to web server one. Okay. So, and if you click here at this bar to the view set information, you can see that we have some cookies here. So we click on it. Here we go. We have a cookie. So this is from an old server, but this is our server cookie that we have configured and the value that comes from server one. Okay. So as you can see now, we are stuck to the server one, which has as a value C01. So let's take a look at the server name here because it was from a previous configuration. So here the server cookie is the same that we have configured here in our configuration file. Let me show you. So here you can see server cookie. This is the name of the cookie that will be stored in your web browser. Okay. So here we are stick to server one. Let's open another session. For example, uh, I will copy this address here. I will cop open a new tab, new incognito window, just to simulate another session. So maybe it will direct it to another server. So here you can see it's redirected to web server two and it will be stuck to this web server too, okay? So this is another session that is stuck to another server. And if we view site information, we have our cookie here. Here we go. So this is the server, the load answer server, the cookie. And here this is our cookie, which is name is server cookie. And of course the value that comes from server two or web okay so here we have two sessions this one in Kinito mode and this one so the first one is stack to web server one and the second one is stack to web server two okay so you can see now how easy it is to configure sticky sessions using just cookies there, there are other methods if you are using for example PHP you can implement that in headers but the most obvious and simple one is just to add some line here to the configuration file of your uh, HA proxy in order to configure sticky sessions. Okay. As always, I hope it has been informative for you and I want to thank you for viewing. Bye bye.